Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will give us peace of mind. And it is written in the scriptures here in Philippians 4. Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we could understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true, honorable, right, and pure, and lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me do. Then the God of peace will be with you. Keep in remembrance everything Jesus Christ is done. I want to go to Luke chapter 11. And read. This is about being a good neighbor. And Jesus speaks about prayer. Suppose you went to a friend's house at midnight. Wanting to borrow three loaves of bread. You say to him, a friend of mine has just arrived for a visit. And I have nothing for him to eat. And suppose he calls out from his bedroom, don't bother me. The door is locked for the night and my family and I are all in bed. I can't help you, but I tell you this, though he won't do it for friendship's sake, if you keep knocking long enough, he will get up and give you whatever you need because of your shameless persistence. And so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. You fathers, if your children ask for fish, do you give them a snake instead? Of course not. Or if they ask for an egg, do you give them a scorpion? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? And also from Luke 22. This is about when Jesus sent the disciples out to preach the good news. Jesus asked them, talking to Peter and John, when I sent you out to preach the good news and you did not have money, a traveler's bag, or an, or an extra pair of sandals, did you need anything? No, they replied. But now, he said, take your money and a traveler's bag, and if you don't have a sword, sell your cloak and buy one. For the time has come for this prophecy about me to be fulfilled. He was counted among the rebels. Yes, everything written about me by the prophets will come true look lord they replied we have two swords among us that's enough he said further on in this chapter of luke 22 one of the disciples cut off a slave's ear and in doing so jesus the lord said no more of this Verse 51, but Jesus said, no more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Okay. Jesus didn't want to have violence and a backlash of words, you know, coming from the disciples. The disciples were supposed to be very peaceful, loving, kind, gentle, tender, and helping those to escape sin, helping people and being a good neighbor by giving the scriptures of the Lord Jesus Christ, being like Jesus Christ, though Jesus Christ can give the eternal living well spring of life and the bread of life, the body and the blood we must eat this, my friends, daily, though it was afforded to the disciples 
even before it's written in the scripture that they did not have money or a traveler's bag or an extra pair of sandals, but did you need anything? No, it was supplied. All of our needs will be supplied by the Holy Lord Jesus. Though the times are different now, it says here in the scriptures, if you don't have a sword, sell your cloak, buy one. For the time has come for this prophecy about me to be fulfilled. He was counted as a rebel. So we must have the Holy Spirit, my friends, because that's what he's talking about. When he said, after the disciples slashed off the ear, no more of this. He didn't want violence any longer. He wanted the gift of the Holy Spirit to be given to the slaves, the priest slaves, to all those who are approached, who come to see the Lord Jesus Christ. Give them the scriptures. Give them the good news. Because it is all afforded to us by the Holy Lord Jesus Christ. So there is no reason why we cannot be a good neighbor, my friends. It's all afforded to us. Jesus Christ gives us everything we need. He gives us the peace that surpasses all understanding. It is written in many places in the scriptures. But I wanted to read Philippians chapter 4 because when our spirit becomes one with Christ... We will have joy. We will have joy and we will have the peace. This peace will guard your heart from works of sin. This peace will guard your heart and your mind, my friends. So I want to encourage you to seek Jesus Christ. Get sin out of your life. Any leaven, leaven thoughts, any sinful thoughts, get them out of your life. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ and pray that you will be forgiven and pray that you will receive all that you ask for. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Seek him and you shall find him, my friends.